Hi guys, it's been a while since I've done any Pulse Jet stuff, so I saw this on Hobby King and I thought, oh, I might buy that and see if I can make it into a Pulse Jet powered model. It's the new, what is it? It's the, they turn the boxes inside out, have you noticed that? Saves time, I suppose. It's the Wingnetic. <laughs> Who the hell thinks up these names? Wingnetic. And it's a, um, I don't know, it's actually a design I was contemplating for Pulse Jet Power as it is. It's kind of like there was a, what was it? Um, Great, no, it wasn't Great Plains. It was one of the American manufacturers had um, a plane looked very similar to this for Nitro Power. And I thought, hey, it's a really good layout for Pulse Jets. And I'll show you why. Because if we get inside, here we go. Here's the airframe. I've got, just got the ARF version. I didn't want the electric motor in anything because I'm going to be powering it with a Pulse Jet. And you see it's got an elevator at the back here. Yeah, nice and easy. And separate ailerons. And it gives you plenty of room to put your Pulse Jet along there. And the fins... Um, go here. So it's got twin fins so you don't have the trouble of the Pulse Jet burning your tail off. I happen to have a Hobby King Pulse Jet here. I was a bit disappointed that it's a little bit smaller than I'd hoped but as you can see if we put the, uh, the Pulse Jet on there it's going to make an interesting looking model and hopefully um, you know it'll fly. Now the Pulse Jet's pretty heavy um, the wing loading is going to be quite significant so it'll probably require a catapult to launch it. That's not a problem I'll make a catapult but I'm thinking you know, I've been looking for a plane, an ARF plane, to throw this on. I got a Hobby King Dolphin, which I thought, yeah, but that's not a very streamlined or aerodynamic model. Whereas this looks a whole lot more aerodynamic, faster. Thinner wing, um, and it'll have a pointy nose. Even with the ARF version, they do give you the propeller and the, the folding prop and spinner and things, but I'll just make up a little plug nose for that, because I have to put a lot of fuel in here somehow. That's the other problem. There may not be a lot of room for fuel. It may be short flights because these things suck a fair bit of juice. So a bit of customising may be required. I may even actually end up just completely replacing the fuselage section in order to give me some good place to mount the Pulse Jet and enough room to stick some fuel in it. So it's going to be really just a flying Pulse Jet when you look at it. So yeah, hopefully over the next few weeks I'll have time to invest in making this fly. It'll be a good test of the Hobby King Pulse Jet and probably a test of the Wingnetic that Hobby King were never thinking of when they launched this product. So, And if it works, well hey, if you bought one of these, you'll find something to do with one of these. In the meantime, I've got to get back to the bench. Way too much to do here, RC model reviews. So thank you for watching. See you again soon.